we continue to spend everything that comes into the province. It's not only a question of not saving, it's also a question of not bringing in sufficient revenue, either from royalties or from a fair tax system, that would allow us to save and would allow us to have a buffer when oil prices go down. So one quarter of the provincial budget, 25% roughly, is fluctuating every year based on oil prices. We can't guarantee that we're going to have teachers this year because if the price goes down, we have to fire teachers or nurses or social workers. If the price goes up, then we will rehire. And if they haven't left the province, we will rehire teachers, social workers, or health workers. That's the, that's the problem, problem this year. So a structural deficit, a structural uh, problem in our system has to be initially addressed to get off the oil revenue. In our public sector, we have the best doctors, teachers, nurses out there. They do a fantastic job. Our professors do a great job for us at our post-secondary institutions as well. And we make sure that they're doing that. We have they're the best paid people out there, and we want to keep that confidence in there as the government. They're the best paid in Canada. We want to make sure that they stay confident and we're not going to see no frontline workers cut in healthcare and we're not going to see any loss in our classrooms. We're keeping all the classrooms whole. There is one and a half percent coming out of the administration in education. In healthcare, what we're looking at is cutting $150 million out of the administration and in healthcare. We all pay as taxpayers are paying more than any other province per capita to make our healthcare system work and some people say we aren't getting the, the, the value we want. Part of it is because of our growth, because of the numbers that are coming into this province. We need to have more doctors and nurses. I would like to see that $150 million moved into the frontline workers and expand our nurses, our doctors and our technologists and other, uh, other healthcare workers as we're going forward. So I think we can do that.